cycling really started was probably with a roper, which was a steam-powered bicycle built, I think the late 60s or early 70s, 1860s, 1870s. But the roper was probably the beginning of a propelled, self-propelled two-wheel vehicle. Uh, to say what year the first motorcycle, there was a lot of tinkerers, uh, the first organized motorcycle company might have been Orient. Uh, there's a lot of vague companies in those early years. People that would start up, produce two or three machines, disappear. You know, examples turn up where it's a prototype, an experimental. Uh, you could probably say American motorcycling started around 1900. The first motorcycle ever manufactured was probably a steam-powered star bicycle made by Aaron Copeland. And I think that's about 1860-something. Uh, but the first motorcycle to be propelled by an internal combustion engine was the Daimler, made in 1884 in Germany. And this was the predecessor of all Mercedes-Benz automobiles. Uh, you got me there. <laughs> tell, him, Dave, tell him an Orient. Uh, Orient. If it wasn't an Indian, it wasn't a motorcycle, so it wasn't first made. Indian. Uh, the first one was probably a steam-powered roper. Uh, the, uh, they talk about the thing that was made in Germany, the Daimler, and uh, there's, it's questionable which was, was the first, but the real first production bike in this country made was probably Orient, made in Waltham, Massachusetts, about 1899, and that was made by Marsh, Metz, and a guy named Albert Champion at the Park Club. Well, there's some people that debate on that. I would say it was a Harley Davidson. Um, there's those who feel that the Indian may have come first. There's quite a bit of rivalry between the two um, groups of enthusiasts, but I think that everyone enjoys them. The first internal combustion propelled vehicle of any kind was a motorcycle. We take claim to that little bit of prestige. Oh, I don't know what the first one what the name of the first one was? Do you know? 